Hello everybody, my name is Jade, and today I'm going to talk to you about my 7 months HRT update. It's been a month since I last saw all of you, or since I made a video and all of you could see me. Really, the past month was amazing. The last video performed so well. I reached almost 200 people. 200 people watched my video. I'm so excited because of that. So thank you everybody for watching, for everybody who's still here, people who subscribed. I'm so happy to have all of you. Seven months HRT. Ah! It's been seven months and in those past seven months, well, the things have happened. I told you a lot of that in the last video in the six month update, but now it's time to see what happened going from month six to month seven. It was quite a relaxing month actually. One of the things that's definitely been happening is my boobies got bigger and my ass got thicker. I made an unintentional rhyme there, which is amazing. It feels so good. Pants, they start to finally fill in really well. I can actually see some definition happening if I look in the mirror, which is making me really happy and to be honest, less dysphoric. And that's what we're doing this for, right? I start to feel more at home in my own body. One of the bigger things I have noticed is that during going from month six to month seven, I got my fourth laser hair removal therapy session. And things are actually really happening here. The hairs here, I've talked about this before, but now I can really start to see it. There are patches where there's nothing left. There are a few patches where there are some thick hairs left, but most of them are like really small and tiny. And I can actually go two days without shaving, which makes me really happy. It puts me on a track to where I want to be, to how I want to feel, to how I want to look. And that's also good. I've also been very busy with my voice training. I've been working really hard to get certain speech patterns in there. And I think it's paying off. I think you can hear it. And it's something that I'm actually quite proud of because it's a difficult thing to achieve. And I'm having a lot of fun with it. There's also some personal stuff that I would like to talk about. Like one of the things that for some reason really came up this month was being trans and the relation with your parents. Because the past month I've had to go on, do stuff with my mother, I did stuff with my father, and both of those experiences were different. And they start to make you wonder and make you think about how can I be trans and how can I communicate this with my parents? And how do I keep that relation that we have healthy? And let me start off by saying, I am really blessed with the parents that I have. They are both accepting and they are both trying. So this situation may not apply to everybody. Depending on where you're from, who your parents are, what your religious upbringing is, that can change so much. Well, let's start off with the encounter I had with my mother. Um, I wanted to do something fun for Mother's Day and she couldn't because she had to work then. So instead she asked me like, hey, can you help me the day before? by helping me pick up some heavy lumber to build something. And I was like, sure, kind of used to it because she normally asks me to do that. And during the trip on the way back, I, I did it, but I noticed that I couldn't lift as much as I used to, which makes sense being on the hormones and all with reduced mu muscle capacity. But on the trip back, she asked me if I still exercised. And I was like, yeah, I go on a bike ride two times a week and I try to walk an hour every day. So I still exercise. And she was like, then I don't understand. You seem to be getting winded so fast and it seems like you're less strong than before. In my head, I went like, mom, are you serious? Is this the conversation that we're gonna have? But instead of acting upon it and speaking out, I was like, yeah, mom, that happens. That is what happens when you're on hormones and take advantage of that little bit of information that she gave me, like a little bit of she was uninformed to talk about what hormones actually do, did to her daughter and what that means for me, what that means for the way she knows me, that I'm no longer the person, the default person to call when something's heavy needs to be lifted because I have reduced muscle strength due to the hormones. 
I hormonally function the same as any woman at this point. So that was one of the experiences. The other one was with my dad. I haven't seen my dad in a few months because of the pandemic that's happening. And I decided, well, you know, we need to catch up. So we set a date and I was actually quite nervous about it because last time we didn't really left off on the best of places. He was having a tough time with getting it in his hand that I'm his daughter and not his son and all the things that go with that. So I was kind of nervous for that. But we persevered and we went to go for a walk in a nature reserve. My dad has never really been somebody who talked openly about his feelings. He is the kind of person who smiles and doesn't really talk about how he feels. So I decided, yeah, you know what? We are good. We had a fun day. We are sitting down to have a drink. Let's try and talk about it. I asked him, so dad, it's been seven months now. What do you see? What do you notice about me? And at first he was a little bit awkward. He was like, yeah, he couldn't really express it. And then I was like, go ahead. It's good to say, I want to hear it. And then we got to talk about it and he was like, yeah, you know, I can see that you're happier. I can see that you're more yourself and I can see that things are growing. And I kept asking him questions and giving him room to talk because I think it's important for your parents to have some room to talk as well. If you're talking about your transition, because a transition isn't something you do all by yourself. It's something that your entire community and environment has to come along with. And whereas your feelings are, my feelings in this case, are the most valid, they also have a place to exist and to be heard. So that's what I did with them. And we had a really good talk. And he's at the point where he's correcting himself when he's using my old name. He's at the point where he is correcting himself when he uses male pronouns instead of females, which is, to be honest, quite a step. Because the last time I saw him, he couldn't even say that he liked the name or let alone use the name. One of the things I talked about in the last video was that I had to lose some weight. And I've been trying to do that. But one of the things that's really hard for me is getting used to this new hormonal balance that I have, eating less, exercising more to actually lose some weight. Um, I've been trying, I've been sticking relatively the same, but it's been hard, hard the past month because I've been sick for more than a week. I've been feeling a little bit down on my energy reserves. And yeah, it's just hard to get used to. That's just a little update. I'm also trying <laughs> to look more focused into the camera for these videos, because I noticed when watching back my last smash hit that I've been trying to look a lot at the viewfinder, but I need to look at you guys, make a little bit of a connection. So that's what I'm trying. I hope it's noticeable. So this is Editor Jay. Hello everybody, still focused on the camera there. I forgot to do an outro, so I'm gonna do it this way. I hope all of you had a good time watching this video. I hope to see you next month, definitely. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this content and share it, like it, comment, tell me down below what you think and ask me any questions. I mean, I would love to answer every single one of them. I hope to see all of you soon. Bye bye.